What's up guys, this is Share talking, welcome back to my channel on today's video, I'll show you how to defeat Spiral Corridor stage 180 using a different squad than the one I used in the past video. Remember that we have to fight versus two bosses, the first one is Kylie, the second one is Time Lord. Versus Kylie, we have a problem, Kylie will increase your BP cost by the end of turn 4, he will also remove all your buffs. Kylie will allow you to do more damage on odd turns, but less damage on even turns, Kylie can apply ailments. And you need to buff your will, and you can even buff break Kylie. But it's not as important as to buff break Time Lord because he becomes unstoppable. And he tries to apply lots of ailments. He also increases action order to attack before you. And when that happens, you're going to get killed or inflict with with ailments. You have to be fast in this fight. And well, 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 we have some cards that will help here. Death is very useful because with death, you actually can just. Revive if you die, and by reviving, you will be able to remove part of your RNG since you have an extra turn to attack. You should also save your Overdrive versus Time Lord. And the idea about this squad is to bring two cards that got released together, and many people pulled it for them the protagonists, the fourth version of Leon, and Enya has something very nice. She has Eclata Universe that deals lots of damage, but she has a Toyodor as inheritance. This one applies attack down and remove all buffs applied by an enemy. And Leon is here because of his convert weapon. He will get this anti-material shot as in chase attack, and you can inherit frozen revolver to get some damage blocks. The thing about Leon is that he also buffs Dexterity and Will on the start of a turn passively. And Enya, when she's attacking, she will also buff STR Dex with Intelligence and Endurance and Will. So, you will be able to buff when still doing damage. I have here on the center Creator because he deals some damage. He is a strong versus Time Lord and he can even use Creator's Flare to decrease damage if you want. I also have Death. Death is useful because he can act as an Intelligence debuffer. It's still nice to have one Intelligence debuffer versus Time Lord and also decreases damage taken. We will allow us to revive, like I said, and can decrease damage taken by quite a lot. The last character that we have here is Shirei. And Shirei is nice because he heals by the end of a turn. We also have very strong attack with 7 hits. He always changes for extra damage and you can inherit Song of Sturdiness. This is a very useful skill that buffs ailment resistance. This cannot be dispelled, but also buffs will. Will buffs can be dispelled. That is something that you need to pay attention to. Uh, there is also a triple S weapon for Shirei, so that he can do more damage when you require him to do so. But I also have a triple S weapon for Leon, and I even have a triple S weapon for Death that I made because I want to use Rock. The equipments here were made so that I could resist both Sun and Shadow, but I do believe I focused a little more on Shadow because Time Lord is the biggest problem. Once you get there, you see, and well. Even Leon can revive once, and Shirei is here just resisting everything. Pay attention to the ones that need to resist him. Use the Rising Phoenix EX formation to increase your will, and place your Intelligence based character or best defensive one in the center. As replacements, you can use some characters. For example, you don't need to bring Creator, you can bring the latest Joe. In the place of Enya, you can use either the latest Eagle Maul or Halloween Aspergal. In the place of Death, you can use someone like Liz. In the place of Lian, you can use someone like Final Impress. In the place of Shirei, you can bring someone like Liz. Those characters will feel similarly. And before we go, don't forget to bring accessories that increase your ailment resistance and even give the all status ailment resistance to all your characters as well in order to protect yourself. Okay, the fight starts and we can do damage on turn 1, because this is a turn where Kylie is not that offensive. We can go with Creator and use Purge. Death can even use Dark Fire to debuff if you want. And Enya will um, use the Clad the Universe. It's okay. Leon will use his Convert Weapon to load his bullets. And Shirei is going to use Flowering Strings to buff BP to the party. That will be very important in this fight. Creator does a lot of damage. Kenya as well. 
you know, it's just loading bullets. He flagged. Okay, that's just that. Very always used by the end of turn. Uh, you can already use another purge, but I prefer to use glitter. Uh, Death can keep with dark fire for now, or even dark bear. And Anya will use a toil door. With Leon loading another bullet. Chiray, when he's not giving BP, he'll be using Light String Hassle to that buffs offensive status, so that we do more damage. That's very good for turn two. But the next turn we're gonna do lots of damage. Kalin just self buff it. It's good to use buff break on the second, uh, I mean the third turn. But you can also still use a clad and universe because Leon is here to buff Will as well. Time for purge. It's time to use Dark Bear here because this will decrease damage taken. And you choose. I prefer to use a Toyo Door. Keep damage in check. Leon can do damage now, and Shirei will use his Light String Hassetal. Broke past the half. That is without Shere. Shere should have attacked before Leon, though. That suffers a lot in this fight because Kylie uses so much sun damage. But that's okay. Uh, right now, Creator can go back to Glitter. If you want, you can try to use Soul Helix to heal more in this turn. Because, well, Kylie won't do that much damage here. It's not now. And then yeah, we use the Toyo Door, keep up with that. He ends back to getting more bullets. And Shirei uh, can use his Song of Sturdiness, because this one gives ailment resistance. Uh, it's not good to use his attack now, because Kylie will remove all your buffs in this turn. Kind of a waste. Death has 25% chance to recover everyone's HP by quite a lot. He didn't, of course he wouldn't. But I do believe we can kill Kylie in the next turn. Really hates Death. Time to go on overdrive. Arge. I'm gonna just use another Soul Helix. A Toil. Armored Cannon. If you wanna kill on turn 5, even use your Summer Rain Light Arrows. You don't need much BP with uh, Shirei in the second fight. We actually don't need Shirei to keep increasing BP anymore. I'm almost sure Kylie will die now. Hey, Dev, heal me. Ah, he did. Everyone is on full HP. Still not kill Kylie. We did. Yes. Five turns only. Everyone on full HP. Now I just need to check the skills that we have available. And don't use overdrive with your characters. Keep that for the end of the fight. Glitter will actually start with Glitter to get some defense boosts. It's always better to do this. Death just uses Dark Fire because this debuffs intelligence. And Anya will just keep up with the Toyodor. 
Lian can load more bullets. You can always leave one LP with Lian if you want, so that, well, he can die and revive. But you're always using Song of Sturgeness to apply ailment resistance. Having four stacks of this will protect you most of the time if you are just buff breaking every single turn. The problem is that Shirei is in the back, so many times he will only buff after Time Lord attacks. And as long as on the second turn, Time Lord will use his instant kill attack, but will be protected. Remember that both Enya and Lian are also buffing Will when they uh, attack or on start of turn. It's time to use Purge. This will do lots of damage. And keep up with your Dark Fires, keep up with your Atoyo Dars. And Lian can already start to do damage with at least one LP. See? No one died. Time Lord always uses physical attacks on even turns. So after using his instant kill attack, he will use some physicals. And then again on turn 4, and then again on turn 6. In those turns, if you do not have EP, you can decide to not buff break with any, for example. Or not debuff intelligence, since he is going to focus on physical attacks anyway. This turn he will use some ailments, so better to debuff. What are we going to do? We're going to use Critter with Glitter. He will chase that Dark Fire. Enya does not have buff break, sadly. But uh, Lian can already start attacking. We'll be using another Song of Sturgeness. Hopefully this will protect us, but some bad stuff can still happen. As long as he does not defy weakness, I think we will be safe. Okay, he defy weakness before death buffs. That will be good. Yeah. It's becoming faster with his action order increase. Like I said, keep your overdrives. The only one that can use overdrive is Creator. You're not getting ailments, so that's a very good sign for now. All buffs remove it. Got some healings. So that we are good. And uh, this time, it will be using physical attacks. I can purge now, or I can just use Glitter to increase my damage or. One more turn, while I keep up with everything else. Even if he's physical now, I'll just keep using it to Eldar because I'll have VP to the end of the fight. Armored Cannon, Song of Sturdiness. That's the fourth Song of Sturdiness. And when we are in the end of a fight, we will be able to use Nook. Because if you know that you win, just go for damage. Just creator now, we got into overdrive. And to be honest, maybe we can kill it by turn 5. We will see. Not turn 5, then turn 6. Turn 5, we have instant kill. Better be careful. Turn 5. So, on this turn... I can use Purge. Arc Fire, Wheel Door, Armored Cannon. And... I will buff. Why? Because I know I win. Since I win! Next turn is Overdrive.
Jerry died, but he will be revived. Maybe his equipments were wrong? I don't know, he was taking so much damage. Death will revive Shirei. And Shirei will participate in the final combo. Maybe we could get Time Lord kill it by turn 5 before this AoE attack. With overdrive? Maybe. Okay, let's go. Full overdrive. I only have Glitter. <laughs> but I do have Soul Helix that does more damage. It's Toyodor, Armor Red Cannon, and my Summer Rain Light Arrows. What a big name for an attack. He went first. It's revenge. Yeah, I believe I'll be... Uh, on by turn 5 if I had to use it overdrive with everyone. It's already dead. And with that, you can, well, see how I did. And did you clear stage 180? Did you use one of my videos as example? If not, tell me your composition on the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this. Please click the like button before you leave. And I hope to see you soon in the next video or live stream. Bye.